of all the Olympic sports, ice dancing is truly the most romantic. Ice dancing is real sensual. Motto, do you ever get romantic? Try to do at least once a day. <laughs> once a day. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, motto. OK, good. Similar to ice dancing, in the culinary world, there's nothing more romantic than... Dessert, chef. <laughs> For today's challenge, each of you will be creating one spectacular, delicious dessert. Your 60 minutes start now. Let's go. Sorry, guys. Brett, what are you doing? Uh, I'm doing a white chocolate orange zest cognac arancini. Play on Italian creamy. Yes! Because you can't do spaghetti in a dessert. Uh, again, with the Italian. Who the fuck are you, Rocky Balboa? Let's, like, shake it up a little bit. I mean, even he went on and did the Expendables. You can't make spaghetti dessert. Finger foods, to me, are sexy, you know, when you can feed the person, you know, that you in love with. You get to licking the fingers and whatnot. We, we know what can come after that. Bread pudding is the most sought-after comfort food. I put the whiskey in. I just want to know if I should go more or not. It's not hot. The whiskey is, like, so potent. You might want to cook that out just a little bit. I think Heather right now is a little tipsy. <laughs> Fuck. What, what's wrong with the tart shelf? It crumbled, chef. It crumbled? All right, that's fine. No worry, no worry. If you screw up something that you baked, it's not that easy to fix. Uh... The way I'm going to salvage this plating is by deconstructing it. 60 seconds to go. Come on, let's go. The fastest hour ever. Everyone's got their plates organized, yeah? Yes, chef. 30 seconds to go. Nice. Let's go. Trev, good? Beautiful. 10, 9, 8, young lady. You got it, Ariel. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. Blue team, you have one more chef on your team than the red team. This is a three on three competition. So, ladies, turn around, come to consensus on which one you're going to drop. Hurry up. He's between these two. Speak it out. Go. Based on presentation, I would say yours. I tasted it. I think it's going to be sweet on top of sweet on top of sweet. I feel like the brittle's a little clunky. So basically, mine's out. OK, whatever. Not happy about that. Heather looks really pissed right now, but I don't care because I personally tasted Heather's dish and I don't like it. Heather, was it a tough decision? Apparently not, Chef, for the other three. We're dropping the bread pudding? Mm-hmm. That sounded delicious. Thank you, Chef. I know it did. Karma's a bitch, ladies, and you better hope doesn't come back to bite you in the ass. First up, let's start with Kanae. Let's go. In today's dessert challenge, Chef Ramsay and guest judge Valerie Gordon will both score the dishes individually from one to five. The team with the most points will win the challenge. I have a deconstructed Luxardo tiramisu. I made my chocolate lady fingers with the cherry glaze on the bottom. Yeah, presentation, um, mm -hmm. not the best for me. Mm -hmm. It feels unfinished. Yeah. But let's taste, yeah? Cherry is one of the most challenging fruits to work with. Mm -hmm. You can either get that gorgeous sweetness or it can taste like cough syrup. I am getting a note of cough syrup. When you start deconstructing something, you need to come back with it better than it was constructed. Right. And so it's not hitting those marks, nowhere near it. So I'm giving it one lady finger. I'm going to. Chef Valerie is not holding back anything. Right. Motto, describe your dessert for chef, please. OK, I'm a big fan of the outdoors and camping. One of my favorite things to do out there is build a campfire and then do some s'mores at the end of the night, you know? So what I have here is a campfire bread pudding. Very moist inside. It is very moist. I think it's a great concept. It looks really good. And it's something that definitely strikes a lot of emotional chords for people. The milk chocolate gets a little bit lost for me. I really would have taken a bittersweet chocolate so you get a little more complexity in the flavor. There's something very lovely about it. I'm going to say three. Great concept. Yeah. Thank you. You've energized the challenge. Mm -hmm. It was great. For me, it's a four. Thank you, Chef. Seven is a great score to start off. You know, got us off the gate strong.